option with HDR images is to add a glow. Now, some folks don't like this look, so this is really an optional step, but it's tied to image radiance. The image radiance command makes it easy to emphasize the light in the scene. Let's take this up very high for a moment, and you see that it becomes a lot of additional highlights. Now we do have a separate glow command, which we'll talk about in a moment, but image radiance amplifies the existing light. Let's keep that really high for a moment and adjust the smoothness. And you see it creates a warm, pervasive light. We can also increase the brightness and the overall scene gets much brighter, much like adjusting a raw file and you see it wraps around or take it down and actually darken the scene this is the ability to change the light in the scene. Sometimes I'll actually set it to a small negative value with a little lift to the shadows. And it's an additional opportunity to recover highlights and shadows. Now, let's back off the smoothness and the amount, keeping this at a lower value. If we toggle that off and on, you see just a slight hint. And what I've done here is used image radiance to create a soft, diffused light, which I actually like given the cloud coverage. It's further helped remove some of the noise in the clouds and gives this a soft, gentle light to the scene. Additionally, you could change the color temperature of the light, warming up the scene or cooling it down further, and the intensity of the amount of color in that light. Using this at low values is quite effective and just really brings in a soft, diffused lighting to the scene.